gentlemen, this tutorial is scheduled for one look, introducing to you the Broke Beauty Guru and your host for Wrestling With Beauty, the Ring Queen, Lexa Rose! <laughs> so, today's look is in a completely different environment. <clears throat> By the time you watch this, um, at the point this video is being recorded, I lost my job for trying to do something nice. Now, I'm not going to get into too many details, but my boss misconstrued one of my texts as me saying that I quit, and that was pure bullshit, and he knows it, and you're going to miss me when I'm gone. Not really. That place was bullshit. I wasn't no certified child care provider. I was just a mom who knew what the fuck I was doing. But, hey, whatever. Um, <clears throat> when one door closes, there's like 10 other ones with people waving like, hi, hi. So it was basically just destiny at work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go, of course, into our Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette once again. And I was actually kind of inspired by this. I don't know if you've seen my social media yet. I had done a bit of a concept sketch on uh, Game of Thrones, which is coming up this month. This month is April, and it's full of so much good stuff. We've got Avengers Endgame. We've got Game of Thrones. We've got my blood sugar palette coming in. Yeah. And, oh, my God, I just want to send some prayers real quick to Jeffree Star. Um, if you guys haven't heard the tea yet, it's not even really tea. It's just really messed up. And what pisses me off is how a lot of people that hate on him are like, yeah, good for you. Good for you. And it's like, look, I get that you don't like Jeffree Star. Okay, fine, whatever. But at the end of the day, you wouldn't want to lose such a huge investment. Even if he did have full coverage insurance, still, you don't want to have to go through that. So can we please be a little bit more sensitive? If not, you can eat a dick and unsubscribe. Anyways, we're going to go right into it. As you can tell, I am eyebrows done, prepped, primed, and ready to go. And we're just going to go right into it. Uh, we're just going to go right into this packing brush real quick. And we're going to hit up Sugar Pills Pressed Eyeshadow in Velocity. I don't know if you can see it. It says Velocity. And we're just going to put that right over the lid and then we're going to use kimchi and we're going to use that to blend it out here's what it looks like do, 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 do. okay so now that we've got the blue on we're going to go right into kimchi and we're going to use it to bluff out bluff we're going to use it to buff out the harsh edge of the blue and drag it a little upwards. Okay, so I'm going to deepen up this blue a little bit and we're going to go right into our Riviera palette and we're going to hit up Cans, which is a purplish color, and woo. We're just going to throw that right in the dark blue to kind of give it a little bit more definition and some color. color. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the same brush that has kimchi on it and I'm just going to use it to blend um, the purples into the blues. Kind of diffuse those harsh edges. Okay, so, ooh, sorry. Like I said, new setup, new environment. You know, it's going to be a little weird at first. <clears throat> but hopefully, you know, I have more time to do more tutorials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my uh, Sense Cosmetics. Um, this was actually given to me by a good friend of mine, my brother's girlfriend, and this is Long Lasting Eyeshadow. 
uh, in Whisper Pink, which is fine because it's about the closest white I'll get without having to waste my concealers. Um, just so I could do a decent cut crease look. Uh, I'm not going to use the wand. The wand's too thick and bulky for the precision I need. But, of course, I have a brush and I've loaded the product on and we're just going to start cutting the crease. Okay, so now that the crease is cut, we're going to go right into cans again. And we're going to just kind of clean up a little bit the purples. Because a lot of it was kind of taken away when I put in the cut crease. So we're just going to like add a little bit back in. But we'll start with the outer corners first. All right, now for in the actual crease, we're just going to grab this pencil brush, <clears throat> go right into cans, and we're just going to kind of bring back out that purple that we added earlier. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our M our Morphe M433, and we're just gonna blend all the purple that we just threw in here, um, just so that it doesn't look so harsh. Let me just say this cut crease is the drizzling shits right now. It does not look good. It's not my cup of tea. I'm either Earl Grey or Darjeeling, but I'm just going to try and look decent today. I could do 10 times better I think it's because I just literally rolled out of bed and was like I'm gonna do a makeup look let's see you could tell by my hair so we're just blending all this purple out and then what we're gonna do is we're going to grab hold on I think I'm able to fix this I'll be right back Alrighty then, Bumblebee Tuna. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go right back in our Riviera and we're going to hit up Bahamas on a Morphe M167 flat brush. And we're just going to throw that all over the lid. So the last part right here in the middle, I decided to stop with Bahamas here. And I'm going to use the Styla Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in I'll let William Wallace handle the name on this one. great discovery you know I'm starting to get really good with these editing skills especially you know I'm just a hilarious bitch please admit it I'm funny because I'm ugly as shit gotta have at least some good talent so we're gonna go into freedom and we're just gonna pop it right here in the middle because this is a twofer Ooh, you don't even know what I want to do <laughs> so we're gonna put this right here in the middle like, literally just slather a little bit. And then use our finger to blend. Shit, fam. I don't even know what the fuck I did, but that shit came out good. I wasn't even trying for this look. I was going to actually go in with seashells. And throw it literally right on top of it. And now I don't even know if I really want to do that because it just looks so bright and cheerful and airy. And <clears throat> where's my eyeliner so I can commit to this? Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we've got that in, I want to stick to this commitment instead of like throwing on seashells because a part of me wants to and another part of me is like, no, bitch. This. This. 
I haven't even done like the highlights yet. I'm just waiting until I do the rest of my face. That's what I usually do. It's my thing. Because when I highlight, then everything gets highlighted. So we're going to go right into our Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. And we're just going to do our liner. Now, if you notice, I also did uh, Bahamas on the bottom. But I'm going to blend it out later when I get my full face on. This is pretty. This is really fucking pretty. Let's hope we can do this symmetrically. I'm I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so now that we've got the eyes done, um, I don't put the mascara on until after because you know, wet mascara, baking powder, it looks really, really weird afterwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right into our Too Faced Born This Way medium to full coverage foundation in Warm Nude. It's the actual shade that matches me. So we're just going to throw this right on the Beauty Blender and then all over the face. Okay, so we're going to highlight the face and we're going to use our Fenty Beauty Contour Sticks. Um, they're actually really good for like a soft and subtle look. Um, this one is amber and this one is linen and we're going to just use it to do the contours of the face. Okay, so now that we've got everything on, we are going to take this brush and we're just going to blend the darker contours and then we'll blend out the lighter contours with a beauty blender. Okay, so now we're going to set everything. We're going to be using our pretty vulgar setting powder that I got with my BoxyCharm a couple months back. And um, I'm not sponsored by BoxyCharm, but um, they are the fucking bee's knees, let me tell you. Especially since I lost my job and I like buying makeup. It's perfect. It is. Um, but we're going to just use this on the little powder puff and we're just going to set all the creams. Now for the contour. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the Pretty Vulgar um, setting powder with my Muda brush that also came in with my BoxyCharm. And I'm just going to kind of reapply it and then use it to kind of buff out the contour. Okay, so we're going to go right in with our Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and... Put that on right before we start doing the highlighting. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm going to finally smoke at the bottom lid. And we're going to go into Monte Carlo with our Morphe M433. And we're just going to blend out Bahamas that was underneath my lash line. All right, I forgot to like spray before I put on my mascara, so. Let's hope my ish don't bleed to the bottom. 
doesn't look like it's gonna but um that's fine what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for our blush and of course y'all know my favorite motherfucking blush is my nyx fard ombre in sweet springs <laughs> i love doing that makes me feel bougie for two seconds but we're just gonna put a little bit on the cheeks nothing too drastic i know i put the setting spray before i put the blush but whatever whatever this is makeup we do what i we do what we want you know it's like make happy mistakes oh that actually is a nice little technique it really gives you that rosy look and makes the blush really pop i'm just worried that it's gonna come off but then again i'm not gonna be staying with this look too long so don't say next step and of course it's with my favorite that's becoming my tried and true my jeffree star liquid frost and this stuff whew, child honey goes a long way so we're just gonna we, we, we kind of have to put it directly on the beauty sponge. I'm not saying beauty blender anymore. They're acting mad childish. They're on some childish shit. So we're not trying to give them any like, you know. Hold on. Oh, well, okay then. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Better. And we're just going to put a couple of dollops and blend forget the beauty sponge my fingers are better at blending this stuff so we're just gonna pop in a little bit more on the cheeks Okay, so now that we've got the liquid highlight on, now it's time to do the actual highlight. And we're going to go right into my Jeffree Star skin, uh, my Jeffree Star skin frost in Peach Goddess. Yeah, you're probably wondering, what the fuck? Well, like an idiot, I dropped it. So, what I did was, I did the alcohol trick where you just crumble it up, put some alcohol, press it in, and then you got this so that's what i did now we're going to use it to highlight the inner corners and the brow bone Why is it look so pretty? Next step, lips. Okay, so we're gonna go into our Urban Decay um, Come For Matte Lipstick in Back Talk, and then we're gonna throw our Lime Crime on top, I don't know what the name of this is. Lime Crime, you really kind of just goofed on this. Like, you're supposed to have something on the actual package, not just the box, but whatever. 